Hello and welcome to Tiger Bites. I'm Jay and this is Tim Newton. Hi everybody, thanks for joining us. Right, welcome to Tiger Bites. This is where we get to address your feedback and comments on our shows on YouTube, as well as Instagram, Facebook, and the Tiger Talk Forum on our website, as well as now video messages that you can send in at bitesatthetiger.com. We've got a couple of entries here today, Tim. There's a common mistake I see often. Well, not a mistake, it's just sort of a, a thing. When people frame themselves mm -hmm. uh, when they're doing the, uh, their selfie, a lot of them, they leave, they sort of put their head in the middle of the frame and they leave all this space above. Usually you'd put your head sort of closer to the top. Wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay, just checking. <laughs> Who's right. first? Right, first is a message here from Susan Klein uh, regarding Andrea Bocelli. <laughs> Do not come. Do not come. I can't believe you came. That's what she said. Right, Susan doesn't have to worry about headspace because no. Susan didn't show her face, but then again, thank you for the message, Susan. So how long until New Year? Um, it's November. Oh, gee, we've got about five weeks to go and we've heard nothing. It's a surprise. It certainly is a surprise. And uh, I don't know where to book. I don't know where he's going to be. I don't, don't know the cost. It's for the people. You just turn up. Yeah, you're just going to show we, we up. just one show day. up anywhere and he'll be there. Just go with it. All right. Um, we've got a second message from retired Ron, all the way from Buriram. Good morning, Burry Ram. Home, Ron. We have seven new babies. They'll be eight weeks old on Monday. They'll get their shots, and then we're on our way to Bur to Bangkok. How many of the Tiger staff would like a puppy? No. No, 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 no. Tim, 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 you said you are a dog person. Here's your chance. Get rid of the cats. Well, actually, no. We, everybody loves the cats. We love the cats. Keep the cats as well as the dogs so they can live in harmony. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got eight cats at the moment, and uh, we're doing our best to pass the cats on to some other owners. We've got three, I think. Uh, no space for dogs. I think uh, the cats would rip those puppies apart. Oof. All right, uh, last message here is from Davey. Hi guys, Davey in Vancouver here. Um, Tim, with regard to you, you seemed uh, um, surprised that people would be concerned about vaccination rates with regard to whether they would uh, find it feel safe to travel to a place. And uh, I can tell you for one, and I'm sure I'm not alone, that that is certainly a factor for me. Um, yeah, this disregard with, with regard to the matter that you brought up, but you brought this up yesterday in Tiger Bites, I believe. Great. Thanks, you guys. Take care. All right. Thank you for the message, uh, Davey. Tim, any response? Yeah, look, uh, it's interesting. We were speaking last week, Jay, about w what are the triggers for people to come to Thailand? What are the things they're looking at? Mm -hmm. you know? Is it that the bars have to be open? Is it an easy re-entry procedure? Is it the availability of, availability of flights? Is it the vaccination levels of the, the destination? So I think everybody's got their triggers, Davey, and uh, thanks for passing on yours. All right, uh, let's get into the comments. Uh, would you like to go first? Sure. Frog Eye said, can anyone else see the next big COVID wave coming to Thailand? Uh, not me. Um, no, not at the moment. Well, it will be interesting to see. We're now, what, three or four weeks into the, the major reopening where we've seen a, a slight surge. I wouldn't call it a, a wave. I'd call it a, a slight surge of tourists coming back to Thailand what we're looking at about three four five thousand uh, a day at the moment certainly nothing like the halcyon days of 2019 will we see a new wave will we see a surge of cases that hasn't uh, shown up so far the number of cases is slow ever so slowly 
uh, dropping, mm -hmm. but I think a lot of people are thinking, well, there will be a surge, but that hasn't happened yet. Yes. Now, I think the number of people arriving who turn out to be positive is still a very low number. It's about 0.15% at the moment. Right. Uh, my comment here is from Eric, who says, "Why? when is Tim going to have his monocle? Oh, next. It's going to happen. 100,000 subscribers. Make it happen and it will happen. No, it won't happen. Tim with a monocle. Oh, get over this Colonel Clink thing. The sergeant. Is it Colonel or sergeant? No, it's Sergeant Schultz, I think. Oh, okay. I Colonel. never watched Hogan's Heroes. I mean, I knew it was on and I sort of roughly knew the idea. But I didn't really sort of think... Um, the Holocaust or the prisoner of war camp was a fun Nazis show to watch. A fun show to watch. National Zero says Thailand, the land of scams. This is another interesting uh, sort of subtext here is that do you think Thailand has any more scams than any other country? I mean, is, is, do people, when they think of Thailand, they go, oh, temples, 7 Elevens, beaches, oh, scams. Or do you think tourist spots, hot spots in other big countries or other big tourist magnets around the world also have their same share yeah, of scams? Have, yeah, they do have their fair share of scams. I wouldn't say that Thailand stands out as the only, you know, no. land of scams. I exactly. Think, yeah. There are a lot of scams here, but you can also now study about them before yes. you travel here. So I would just say if you don't want to get scammed, just do your research. But yeah. I mean, that doesn't justify the fact that we do have scams here. Unfortunately, there are always some people who are going to ruin it for other people. But yeah, I, th I think that's a bit harsh. Most of the scams in Thailand are directed at Thai people. But he, he, this, was this comment from Thailand News Today? Uh, yes, all these are from Thailand News Today so yesterday. So I guess he's, regarding, he's talking about uh, the, the illegal hotel scams that has been going on uh, yes. since the reopening. We've got some more comments about that. This one from Jeff Whelans. Thanks, Jeff. He says, book with the hotels direct, then there's no problem. Everything is priced in so you know exactly what you're paying for. Plenty of SAJ Plus hotels in Pattaya and Bangkok on the internet and also other destinations including Phuket. So thanks, Jeff. All right, my next comment here is from Thai Ron, who's very supportive, and he says, wow, what a change regarding Good Morning Thailand. Um, Natty is a great addition. It's good to have the Thai point of view as she brings a good balance to the conversation. Oh, Jay is okay too. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, no, Tim, come back. The people are here for you. This is the moment Ooh. they get to see you. Yes. They've missed you. They have missed you, definitely. We've missed you. Yeah, well, right. <laughs> uh, Brian Charleston wrote, and he's on the hotel scam thing as well, saying it's not only the hotel scamming, all those tests are scams. It's all about money. Well, I mean, this I think after nearly two years of tests and stuff, we need to decide that uh, the, the testing has been reasonably uh, <clears throat> responsibly carried out by most countries around the world and that the PCR tests have provided the best guide that was available at the time. There's now other tests around, uh, but I think to say all those tests are scams is a ridiculous comment, Brian. All right, uh, here's a comment here from Bill. It says, using the word foreigner at this moment in time during briefings in Thai language is simply electioneering. I know there is no election date planned. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but this is an attempt to win voters and votes eventually. Yeah, I, th I suppose the, the context there is that they're saying that the Thai politicians are blaming foreigners for all the woes of Thailand. Of, of not the mask wearing. Especially. Sort of the, the xenophobic approach uh, that, that some people have used to get to government in the past. Uh, do, do you think that's an effective uh, tactic? Like, you know, we don't blame, blame the, the Thai foreigners. people, blame, blame the other people. It's yeah. been used by a lot of other governments. I can name a few campaigns in Australia where sort of was boat people or foreigners uh, or immigrants that were used. Yeah, boat people, of course. We used to have uh, like a lot of... People who live on boats. No, people arriving by boat illegally oh, okay. on the Australian shores. Oh, I see. Given Australia okay. as a, a country has got one of the, the longest coastlines in the world. Uh, it's very difficult to protect those shores and a lot of boat people have tried to come to Australia and often governments going for election uh, for elected office use immigrants and boat people and foreigners as a bit of a scapegoat. So it wouldn't be the first time that politicians have fallen into that particular uh, pattern. All right. Lost in China, who's also written 
correct their name in Chinese, says, no way that is a real reopening, just a joke. I'm so sad about this happening, I can't believe. So not a fan of Thailand's reopening. Oh, when they keep on talking about November the 1st as being the reopening, Jay, I'm thinking that it wasn't really a reopening. I mean, Thailand's been open before. It was harder to get into. Yeah. The reopening was really the, the start of a uh, one night in quarantine for vaccinated travellers reopening. That yeah. was the, uh, the big change. Uh, next comment here from Farang Fan and the Farm, who says, I agree with Natty in regards to preserve the current train station or at least incorporate the structure among the new commercial buildings. The TAT should consider the picture points that tourists like to visit and post. Uh, I believe he's talking regarding the closure of Hualampong. Uh, is it Hualampong or Hualampong? Hualampong. I always get confused between the province Lampang and this train station Lampong. And yesterday with Bang Lamong, you oh, got yes. confused. Oh, that too, yeah. There's a lot of Lamongs and Lamongs The thing in is, in, the, the uh, railway station, the big uh, sort of railway terminus in Bangkok, was built in 1915. Mm -hmm. You can imagine in 1915, where it is sort of roughly near Chinatown, mm -hmm. it would have been a uh, sort of quite a hub in the city. But yeah. the city's grown a lot since yes. then. And where they've now got it in Bang Su is probably better placed for to serve the transport needs of the city into the future. Mm -hmm. I, I think um, the thing about Hua Lompong is it's got such a history and people have arrived there and they've got memories and it was the start of journeys, the end of journeys, and they'd like to see some of the history preserved. You'd like to think that the, the commercial development may have some... Uh, well, they'd either leave the old building there and sort of build around it or have some relationship to it because it's a part of Bangkok's history. Yeah. I mean, Thais don't generally hang on to their history. They're quite happy to push down a building to make way for, uh, for a bright, shiny new edifice. But, um, yeah, I'd like to see Hua Lampong maintained. All right. Me, Jerry Jungle, says, uh, has anyone heard of the Nuremberg Code written when the Nazis were on trial in Nuremberg? And this is in relation to, uh, some people they say that the testing of these vaccines is illegal because of the Nuremberg Code. The Nuremberg Code had nothing to do with the testing of vaccines and uh, really was a, a code that was put together in relation to the Holocaust. It had nothing to do with the events 60 years later and the COVID-19 pandemic. Stop trotting out that ridiculous conspiracy. All right, uh, last comment here from Rama Nathan, who says, Hi, Tiger Teams, kindly take extra precautions to avoid using phrases like, you know, or er, um, as these words are annoying, especially when you are presenting something professionally. Do note that this is my personal view. If you guys feel offended, please accept my apology. Thank you. Uh, firstly, uh, Rama, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, first, no, <laughs> no thank, thank you for the extremely polite, uh, constructive criticism. I uh, appreciate your feedback. I'm not trying to do this on purpose. I, I, I'm aware that I say words like uh, and um uh, quite often. I will, I am trying personally to try to improve my presentation, uh, my syntax and my presentation, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, so, so thank you for the constructive criticism. I appreciate you taking the time to say this as politely as possible. We also get quite a few comments saying that, you know, you don't do this professionally, you don't do that. I mean, we're not the BBC, we're not the ABC, we're not uh, Fox News or whatever your favourite channel is. Uh, we are trying to fit in that space somewhere between YouTube cat videos and uh, more <laughs> professional news presentation. And the fact that we are sort of uh, just normal people, well, we're not professional commentators. We are trying to present the news in a conversational, natural way. And the ers and the ums will just be part of our conversation. So uh, we, we don't sit here trying to be unprofessional. We're, we're just trying to keep it conversational and natural. We're cat presenters. Yeah, well, we've got the cats as well, but we haven't resorted to that yet. Uh, I can't pronounce the first name, but I'll get stuck into the comment. Very, <coughs> excuse me. Anuj. Anuj. Very sad that a few hotels are giving Thailand a bad name. The Thai government must take strict ac action against these hotels and fine them with heavy fines. 
Notably in the Thai media talking about these hotel scams, no hotels have been mentioned. If they were, we would have passed the information on and quoted the source. But interestingly, Jay, as happens often with these scams, mm. no names mentioned. Mm. All right. Well, I'm done with my comments. Any last comments? I've got one more from Tak Tirak, who says, please, can you give your views as to why a UK annual general travel insurance that also covers COVID included in up to three million pounds total cover is not acceptable for Thailand past Thai policies for over certain ages are comparatively very expensive. Well, I don't really have a view about it. Obviously, it's inconvenient for some people who have got a travel policy or a health policy, and they believe they can use that when they go traveling to Thailand at this time to use it when the Thailand pass. I can't apologize for the Thai government, why they are insisting on certain policies, a lot of them from Thai companies. There's a certain amount of uh, backing the locals there, I suppose. Uh, I, I don't really have a view about it except to say I understand it's inconvenient and it's just one of the many inconveniences that the Thailand Pass is putting on people at this time. But uh, good luck, Tak Tarak. I hope you get here eventually. All right. And uh, those are all the comments we have for today. We banged through them. We hope you enjoyed today's show. Uh, please subscribe. A lot of you are not subscribed to the channel. We're trying to reach 100,000 subscribers. We're very close. So please try to subscribe if you can. What? We would appreciate it. Some people are not subscribers? Yes. Do we mention Coffee Culture? <laughs> coffee Culture, right. Our sponsor. Thank you, Coffee Culture. Did you know that if you want to buy coffee, this is the perfect time. On Friday, we have Black Friday sales. And on Monday, we have Cyber Monday sales. So you can go to coffeeculture.asia. You can get all the coffee you want and uh, just uh, it, collect it in your cart. And this applies to house coffee only. So um, you can get all the house coffees that they have and then check out on Friday for a 20% discount. These are the 500 kilogram bags. They feel about, mm, about half a kilogram. Five, did I say 500, yeah, 500 kilograms? Kilogram. 500 grams. Yeah, they weigh such about, a strong man. They weigh about half a kilo. Good. Great. Right. So, yeah, check them out. CoffeeCulture.Asia. Um, as for us, it's a goodbye. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Thank you, Shai, pressing the buttons, as well as Jason doing the editing there. Why is Shai pressing the button? Because it's Shai's turn. Shai has been doing the live show starting uh, this week. Um, Does he know what he's doing? Uh, well, that's debatable. Uh, half, half. He's just Last winging it. Week he was sweeping the floors. I'm yeah. not sure if he. Could we we do just it. he he performed really well. Like that's why the floors the have floors been so clean. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So so we've decided to promote him. Okay. Yep. Anyway. Up to you. Yep. Up to me. Thank you, viewers, for watching the show. Uh, see you tomorrow.